Messi finding Antoine Griezmann. Come on, control it well. Here goes Griezmann, 1v1 in the 90th minute. Go on, Griezmann. Let's go. Gets past his man. Still Dembele. This should be a goal. What's going on here? Lautaro Martinez pounces. And is that a hat-trick for him? I think it is. Lautaro Martinez scores. So welcome back to another episode of the Barcelona career mode series. We've got more Champions League action in today's episode as we've got games against RB Leipzig as well as Rangers and we need to keep pace with Olympique Lyon who are doing really well in the Champions League at this moment. Of course, we're going to get through some more La Liga action as well in this episode. Real Madrid continue to remain at the top of La Liga unbeaten with a perfect record. So we've got to keep up with them. So if you guys are enjoying this Barcelona career mode series, keep the support coming. Let's smash out 2000 likes once again. If you are new around here, subscribe for more FIFA 20 career mode content. And let's get this one underway. Starting off the episode with a press conference. And if you guys want to get involved, drop in your questions down in the comment section below first one of the day you should train Messi's sprint speed and physical stats so that his physical stats don't fall and he can play for a season more at least well that won't be possible because you can't really train older players stats in a FIFA 20 career mode because they take way too much time to actually go up like it'll probably take us three or four weeks not even that, probably like two or three months to actually get Messi's sprint speed up by just one rating. It's just not worth it. I mean, he's getting older, his stats are going to go down. And unfortunately, there's nothing much we can do about that. The good thing is, Messi continues to perform 7 goals and 5 assists in 12 games. He's still performing regardless of his overall, which is perfect. Next up, you don't need to replace Jordi Alba. Just put Firpo into the team and make Alba a backup. That's what Firpo is there for. And you know what? That is quite a good suggestion because we've been talking about signing a left back for a while now. And we've kind of ignored what Junior Firpo has to offer. If you look at his stats, guys, the guy is an absolute beast. He's super quick he's strong as well for a fullback and he's tall as well so i think he can offer us a lot as a fullback and it's time maybe we start giving junior firpo more opportunities in the first team and slowly groom him into being our first team left back instead of just going out of our way and signing another left back we can just use jordi alba as backup in the future so slowly but surely you guys are going to see more of firpo next question would you consider loaning out oscar hara for a season so his overall increases not really. I'm really enjoying using Oscar Hara this season. In fact, we've given him quite a few opportunities. Three games so far. He scored a couple of goals. Three assists as well. This way, he's developing at a faster rate. He's already 76 rated with some great stats. And I want to continue using him as a backup player. We've been using him more of a backup right winger this season. And he's been really good. So that's my plan for Oscar Hara. No point loaning him if I'm able to give him opportunities. The guy is going to be an absolute beast when he's, you know, at his full potential. Five-star skill moves, man. Not many players have that in this game. So he's already got that going for him. So, yeah, not going to be loaning him out. We'll be giving him chances occasionally to, you know, help his growth into a better player. So that's it for today's press conference. Let's move on. Lautaro Martinez. The Argentine is the third player in this series to score a hat-trick for us. He was superb in that last one and no wonder you guys voted for him as your player of the episode. I want to start off this episode by renewing Marc-Andre Ter Stegen's contract. He's got one year and eight months left on it and it just makes sense to renew his contract. Maybe offer him more in terms of wages. We'll see how things go. He's also got a release clause, so in his new contract, that is something I want to remove. So let's negotiate with him. This is what Marc-Andre Ter Stegen wants in his new contract. Crucial squad role, four-year contract length. Again, I don't understand why he wants to reduce his wages just makes no sense at all ea need to work on how contract negotiations work but anyways we're going to remove the bonus submit offer and hopefully testegen will accept this there you go mark andre testegen has re-signed for barcelona for another four years Here's a quick update on our season goals. I think we've been slacking with our objectives so far this season and you guys know there's a lot at stake. If we fail to complete at least four out of these six objectives, we've got to sign Phil Jones and play him as our centre-back. So we've got to be careful. We need to try and make more progress in this episode. Hopefully more goals from Ansu Fati, more clean sheets as well. More goals from outside the box would be helpful as well. So we start off today's episode with Champions League action as we'll be going up against RB Leipzig. Now the last time we played them, they gave us a good fight. We just about managed to beat them with the help of a 90th minute winner so hopefully this time around things will be a lot easier we're playing them at the camp now we're in good form let's go out there and win 
A few fitness niggas and that's why I've got to change the lineup a tad bit. We've got Ansu Fati and Lautaro Martinez starting, De Jong playing in a more advanced role, Busquets is back in the lineup, Alenia getting an opportunity and as I said, we're giving Junior Firpo more chances. He's starting this one, Konate along with Koulibaly, Semedo at the back and of course Ter Stegen in goal. Let's go out there and beat the German side at the camp now. Werner on the charge, he's beating me there brilliantly. Timo Werner laying it off Konate then Ter Stegen makes the save. Wow, what a run of play that was. We could have easily been 1-0 down. Konate did really well there against his former side, but we got really lucky there. Oh, this is not good. Timo Werner on the charge once again. Koulibaly can't tackle him. Ter Stegen had to make another save. Within 10 minutes, man, RB Leipzig have had two great chances to take the lead. We've been lucky in this game so far. We need to start playing better. Busquets sees Lautaro. Big opportunity for him to play in the Champions League. Lays it off to Messi. Messi... Doesn't go down for some reason. Puts this one back into Lautaro who guides it towards goal. But uh, the header didn't have much power. If Messi would have gone down in that instance, we would have gotten a penalty 100%. But Messi isn't that kind of a player, is he? So, well, we don't get a penalty there. Oh, Sabitzer has done me there. That is absolutely brilliant from RB Leipzig. But we got so lucky once again. I have no idea what we're doing in this game. Their five at the back formation is actually working for them. And they're creating more chances than us, which is weird. Oh, Timo Werner's breaking through once again. He just flicks it past Koulibaly. Now it's Mandzukic. Oh, I made a mistake there. He's laid it off to Konate. Ter Stegen, unbelievable. How has he kept us in this game? We should be 3 or 4 nil down, but somehow we haven't conceded a single goal. Unbelievable keeping there from Marc-Andre Ter Stegen. And we might have a chance for the counter, but that was an awful pass from Lautaro. Timo Werner inside to Mandzukic. Mandzukic shoots from distance. Ter Stegen denies him once again. This is what... Ter Stegen's fifth or sixth save in this game. Here's Frankie de Jong, sees Leo Messi. Go on, Messi. We need Messi to get it into his stride well. Still Leo Messi. Back into Lautaro, laying it off to Ansu Fati. No! Oh, how did Ansu not get there? He's quick, man. That was our chance to score. Maybe I should have just gone for the shot with Lautaro. Lautaro's doing well. Still Lautaro, no passing options. Busquets offers himself up. Now it's Leo Messi. Messi gets past one. Still Messi on that left foot of his, tries to curl it in. Let's go, guys. Somehow we've taken the lead in this game. Leo Messi, the man at it once again for us. Barcelona won RB Leipzig nil. Probably the most undeserved goal we've scored so far in this series. RB Leipzig had so many chances, but when you don't take your chances, you've got Messi on the other end to punish you. Leo Messi scores yet another goal for us. Doesn't matter that his stats are declining. He still has that quick turn, the great shooting, the dribbling and all that as Barcelona make it 1-0. Sabitza inside to Nkunku, now Mandzukic finds Sabitza, Ter Stegen again. This is getting a bit crazy man, he's literally saving everything for us. Have a look at this for a save, I thought this was definitely going in. Sabitza, bottom left corner, Ter Stegen with a strong right hand. Lautaro, now Messi inside to Ansu Fati, controls it well and there you go, Ansu Fati with his pace. 1v1 against the RB Leipzig, keeper took way too long to get the shot off and that ruined the attack. Savica inside to Mandzukic, Werner in behind, Ter Stegen comes forward and collects it. He's literally had the perfect game, he's not made a single mistake, unbelievable from Ter Stegen. Full time and we've somehow frauded our way to winning this game because we do not deserve it. Leo Messi scored the winner for us but it was Marc-Andre Ter Stegen who was the hero. Save after save from the German to deny RB Leipzig and we pick up crucial three points in this group thanks to him. I think that was the best performance from a goalkeeper in this series so far. Just unbelievable. Koulibaly is continuing his hot runner form. How satisfied are you with his performance today? I think he was good in this game, so I'm going to give him the praise he deserves. He's really become a leader at the back for us, and along with Longley, he just forms a brilliant centre-back pairing. Of course, today he was playing with Konate, and still, he did a great job. Olympique Lyon also managed to beat Rangers, which means both teams are now on 10 points. I guess that game on the final match day of the Champions League group stages is going to decide which team is going to finish first in the group. Of course, we still need to beat Rangers, but I reckon we should be able to do that. The Champions League group is really interesting at the moment. I didn't expect this group to be interesting, but it turns out it is. We're moving back to some La Liga action as we're up against Espanyol, the Catalan derby away from home. Should be an interesting game, of course. Four points separating us and Real Madrid, so we need to continue winning in La Liga. Espanyol are 12th in the league with 14 points. They're not doing that well, but of course, they're not that good of a team as well. So 
It could be a tricky game, Catalan Derby, away fixture as well, but I think we've got the squad to win us this game. So I thought I'd show you guys the instructions I've put on my forwards, because a lot of you guys keep asking me what tactical instructions I've got on my players. So on my left winger, I've got stay forward, cut inside, and get in behind. Seems to work really well for me. On the right, we've got Messi to stay forward, free dome, and of course, get into the box for crosses. Griezmann, we've got get in behind and stay forward. So hopefully this continues to work for me. I had to make a few changes for fitness reasons in this one. De Jong misses out, but Fabian comes in to play in that CDM role. Also, Todibo getting an opportunity ahead of Koulibaly. Messi still starts, but I might bring him off at halftime or something like that. Not halftime, probably the 60th minute for fitness reasons. But this is the team. Griezmann, Dembele back in the lineup. Bernardo Silva as well. Alba Longley and Trent as well. Let's go out there and beat our local rivals in this Catalan derby. Oh, this is not good. Could be a chance here for Espanyol. Jordi Alba's tracking back, but this one even Ter Stegen couldn't stop. Espanyol have taken the lead against us and we are 1-0 down within 14 minutes. This is not good news. It's been all Espanyol, man. I've barely been able to get the ball. They've got another chance. Ter Stegen this time does make the save. Since when did Espanyol become so good, man? They're dominating us in this first half. Oh, another chance for Espanyol. They, they're going to make it 2-0. Ter Stegen denies Kalinic. They're still 1-0 Espanyol. But we've barely been able to do anything in this game, which is extremely frustrating. Looks like finally we might have a chance pushing forward. Messi now. Still Messi. Drag back. Messi inside to Griezmann. This should be a goal. It is a goal. Messi, Griezmann combining. And just before the halftime whistle, we get ourselves one goal back. It is 1-1 against Espanyol in this Catalan derby. They've made this game a lot more difficult than I expected it to be. Look at that pass from Messi though. The first drag back and then of course the back heel to Griezmann. And he did the rest. 1-1 against Espanyol. Arthur. Sees Antoine Griezmann on that left foot of his, tries to put this one in Antoine Griezmann from outside the box. Oh my days, what a strike from Griezmann. I did not expect this one to go and I just thought let's just try a shot from outside the box, just see where it goes. I was expecting an easy save from the goalkeeper instead. Griezmann has just slammed it home. The finesse shot of dreams from the Frenchman who is establishing himself as one of the best players in the world if he's not established that already. But oh my goodness, look at that for a goal from our new number seven. Antoine Griezmann with a potential goal of the season contender. He also fell down during that shot because he lost balance but he still managed to put that ball in the back of the net. Unbelievable there from Antoine Griezmann. Espanyol... On the attack to make it 2-2, Kalinic tries to go for an extra pass, which was a big mistake. He could have probably scored if he would have taken the shot. We got lucky there. Oh, here's Messi now, looking to bring this one inside. Still Messi. Still Messi on that left foot of his. Looks to call this one, and you cannot stop Messi when he's in this kind of form. A brilliant goal there inside the box from Leo Messi to just curl this one in. Espanyol just have no idea what hit them because they were actually dominating this game up until, of course, we scored the equaliser. And since then, Griezmann scored a one goal and Messi's just done that. Absolutely brilliant from Barcelona. I think we've got to say, individual brilliance has got us through these last two games in this series. Messi now making it 3-1 against our Catalan rivals in this derby. Brilliant. And that's full time. We've beaten Espanyol 3-1. We were really good in that second half. Scored in crucial moments. Griezmann scored an absolute belter of a goal. And yet, yeah, three points in the bag and we continue to keep pace with Real Madrid. Remarkable performance by Griezmann today. What are your thoughts? That goal, man, from Antoine Griezmann was just insane. I'm gonna say that I'm very impressed with what Griezmann put out today. He was just brilliant. Just received a message from Sergio Busquets that he's now happy with the game time he's getting. Well, that's good. I'm just gonna say I'm proud of you. Why not? Well, Real Madrid still remain perfect in La Liga with 12 wins out of 12 games. They are still four points above us, which is extremely frustrating. But it looks like finally Valencia have lost the game. That's great to see. And also, let's just see when our El Clasico is. Is it going to be in the next episode? Oh, I think it is. El Clasico in the next one as we'll be going up against Real Madrid away at the Santiago Bernabeu. This is going to be a huge game in the title race.
Up next in La Liga, we're going to be simming this one against Real Valladolid. I've used the second team and we get ourselves a comfortable 4-1 win. Sergio Busquets getting on the score sheet. Interesting. Alenia scoring. Lautaro Martinez as well. And Ansu Fati grabbing one. That should help us with our objectives. Good win. We don't really get messages often from Leo Messi as he wants to play in this upcoming game against Rangers. Um, but the thing is, I want to rest him in that one. We've got Villarreal at the weekend in La Liga and that's the game I want to play him in. So I'm just going to tell him there's bigger games ahead and I'll need you focusing on fitness until then. I don't think I'm going to play him against Rangers. We'll see though. So yes, we're moving on to some Champions League action after those couple of wins in La Liga. We're going to be playing Rangers up next. Now, although they are struggling, they've managed to secure basically no points at all from all their group games so far. We need to win this because Leo also have 10 points. So this is still an important game. Press conference time. Messi is in good form. Will we see more of him today? I'm just going to say rotation is key. I don't really plan on playing Leo Messi today. Would you consider using players who haven't featured regularly in the starting 11? I'm just going to say all my lads try their best and I do plan on rotating the squad a bit. So as I said, we are resting Leo Messi for this one against Rangers. They're bottom of our Champions League group. I don't think we need Messi to win this game. But this proves to be a good opportunity for Ansu Fati to try and get some goals. And that's why he's playing on the left. Dembele on the right. We're still starting Griezmann, De Jong, Bernardo Silva. We've got a capable team out there. Let's go out there and win this Champions League game at the camp now. And also we're using our away kits because of a kit clash. Pirpo finds Fabian, now it is Bernardo Silva who looks to call this one in from outside the box and almost scored a very similar goal to that Griezmann finish against Espanyol, but the keeper this time denies him. Could be a chance here for Rangers, oh that's poor defending from me and well we had to concede from that, Rangers have just scored against us. Imagine if out of all our Champions League games we lose to them at the camp now. We've got enough time to try and turn this around well, but so far it's been an embarrassing start in this game. Here goes Griezmann now, chance to get back into this game, still Antoine Griezmann tries to curl it in but couldn't generate enough power, easy save for the Rangers keeper. Here's Ansu Fati, looks to play this one in behind to Antoine Griezmann, he gets there first brilliantly, still Griezmann, gonna go for the chip, oh it's absolutely exquisite from Antoine Griezmann who is just in unbelievable form at the moment, Ansu Fati picking up the assist for that goal but it's all Griezmann's work. Two wonderful goals in today's episode from the Frenchman. I mean, he's just unstoppable when he's in form like this. Look at the pace from Griezmann to get ahead of the defender. Took a heavy touch, but then it was perfectly in position for a chip shot of that level. Brilliant goal from Griezmann. 1-1 against the Rangers before halftime as well. Perfect. Antoine Griezmann once again. Looks for Ansu Fati. This is brilliant. Should be a goal for Fati. And it's a goal for Ansu Fati. Let's go, guys. 2 1 before half time. We've turned things around. This should really help with our objectives. Ansu Fati scoring again. An assist as well for him in this game. A brilliant performance from the youngster. Griezmann's pass, though, to Ansu Fati was just something else, man. Griezmann is in the form of his life at the moment. I've got to say, man, so far, I think he's been our best player this season, ahead of even Leo Messi, which is incredible. Oh, Rangers could have an opportunity here to score one back. It's decent football, but to Stegen with another great save. Oh, good cross coming in. A big chance for Rangers to get back into this game, and they've missed it. I mean, that was a golden chance for them to get their first points on the board in the Champions League, but thankfully for us, they've missed it. Full time against Rangers and we've beaten the Scottish side 2-1. They made our job very difficult. They put in a good performance. But Antoine Griezmann and Ansu Fati scoring within a matter of minutes just couldn't stop us from winning the game. 2-1 against Rangers as we continue to win in the Champions League. So I guess in the Champions League, everything now depends on this game against Lyon. I know we've already secured qualification to the round of 16, but finishing first, I think is extremely important. So I'm hoping we can beat Lyon in our final group stage game. It's away from home. We've got good memories from playing in their stadium. Last season, we beat them 3-1 if I'm not wrong in their stadium. So I'm hoping we can do it again. I thought I'd show you guys the stats of our players so far this season and show you guys who is our top scorer at the moment. It is, of course, Antoine Griezmann. That's actually a surprise considering it was Messi last season, but Griezmann, with 12 goals in 13 games, has been our standout performer this season. Messi in a close second spot, though, with 9 goals. Lautaro coming in with 6 as well. Ansu Fati with 5. 
Ansu's actually scored more than Dembele, which is surprising. Dembele has been kind of underwhelming this season so far, but still, he's decent. Bernardo Silva with four goals as well from midfield, impressive. Oscar Hara with a couple. Now, assist-wise, we've got Fabian as our top assister, which is again a bit of a surprise. Messi, second top assister with six. Trent coming in with four assists already this season, which is crazy. Griezmann with three, Hara with three, and so on. Next episode, we're going to push through some important games, including this big one. Real Madrid in an El Clasico at the Santiago Bernabeu. That is right. What a game this is going to be. Considering the situation in the title race with Real Madrid being unbeaten and perfect, it's going to be probably the most important El Clasico of the series so far. Barcelona playing Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu with the stakes so high, it's going to be incredible. Ah, uh, this is a bit of a bummer. Eden Hazard wins the October Player of the Month award. Fair play to him for doing that, but I'm hoping next month it can be a Barcelona player. And have a look at this, Trent seems to be enjoying his football at Barcelona, which is great to see. We actually made a bit of progress in today's episode with our season goals. Ansu Fati getting three goal contributions. A bit of a bummer that we couldn't keep a clean sheet in La Liga, but we did score a cracking long shot with Antoine Griezmann, so that really helped us. Before we end off the episode though, it is time for you guys to make your vote count for the Player of the Episode award. You guys have got a couple of nominees once again. Mark andre Ter Stegen is one of them. That first game against RB Leipzig, he was just sensational. Probably the best performance I've seen from a goalkeeper. The only thing is he's up against Antoine Griezmann, who is in the form of his life. He scored some wonderful goals in today's episode, contributed so much, and that's why he's your second nominee. Click the i button on the top right of your screen to vote for either of them. So guys, that is that for another episode of the Barcelona Career Mode series. I'm really hoping you guys are enjoying the series. If you guys are, let's keep the support coming. 2,000 likes would be incredible. If you are new around here, subscribe for more FIFA 20 Career Mode content and I'll catch you guys next time.